I mean, thank you, sis. Damn, he be like, damn, he like, damn, he like, he be like, damn, he like, he be like, you that bitch, you that bitch. Oh, oh, fuck, oh, oh. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Lajan. I'm back with another video, and my voice might sound tired because it is 6 in the morning right now, and I was like, I'm about to do a get ready with me video. Why not? But right now, I'm gonna put something on my lips because they look crusty and they feel dry. You know, this isn't, I need to get some lip gloss because this is the only one I got right now. And it's cute, like it's glossy, I like it, but it drips down too much, no matter how much you put on. But yeah, only thing I really did so far, I didn't record the beginning. Only thing I really did so far was wash my face and brush my teeth and my eyebrows. And I did my eyebrows off camera because it slows me down every time I try and they don't come out right on camera. So therefore, I just did my eyebrows off camera. I'm going to do everything else. I'm going to be showing you what the fuck I be using. So yeah. But yeah, let me tell y'all. School just started. It's only, what, the second week? And I'm ready to get the fuck ASAP after this shit. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to, the foundation, I switched my foundation, actually. Don't come from a bottle. It's spilled in my bag. It's just terrible. But I used the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation and the color. What color is this? If it shows the color. And golden. So I'm going to go ahead. Y'all, no matter how, y'all, it don't matter. My, y'all, it don't matter what type of hair glue I use right here on the sides. These shits always fucking lift like I just can't. I got some pimples on this side, please. Leave it alone. Don't say nothing. This one. Ugh. This is the closest. <clears throat> if you know me, I'm bad. Then you know that I'm terrible at matching foundation colors. <coughs> <coughs> Shit. You know me, I'm terrible at matching foundation colors. So this is the best I've gotten to my color. I can't wait to find that exact color. Where's my beauty blender? Bitch, I left my beauty blender in the bathroom. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. But yeah, y'all, let me get y'all updated since I was gone. Oh yeah, and the beauty sponge. Whoa. And the beauty blender that I'm using is from Sephora. Because I ended up just getting one, like actually investing into a, a good beauty blender. Because one, this one actually blends really good. And on top of that, it doesn't like break so easily. Like with my real technique, the real technique beauty, beauty blender works good. Don't get me wrong. But like when I be having nails on and stuff like that, it always put holes in it. It don't really put holes in this one. And that's what I like because... I'm not about to keep buying a new beauty blender because it can't take me having nails. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let me tell y'all, I'm finally a fucking senior, bitch. Yeah, bitch, senior year. And I'm ready for it all to be over with. But at the same time, I'm not ready because in that age, what? What's coming next? College. Um, college is just going to be 10 times harder, like... Ugh, I'm not ready. But I don't even know what college I want to go to yet, like, at all. Like, and I can't, I haven't started applying for colleges yet because, <clears throat> one, I'm still deciding what I want to do because I want to do CPS, but they don't make a lot of money. Like, I've been wanting to do CPS since seventh grade, but they don't make a lot of money. So I'm trying to stay something involving that, but, like, shift over to something else that makes money if you get what the fuck i'm saying y'all when i say the next foundation is so good like it's still drying right now but it is so good <clears throat> oh geez that's too fucking much y'all my head is it just so bad like what is something that i can use that like when i put my wigs on like before i put my wigs on i can put something in my hair to make my hair not itch because like i can wash my hair and then put a wig on 
and two days later my head's already itching and i'll be ready to take these fucking wigs off like as much as i love wearing wigs i hate wearing them like i like wigs because you know you can change up your you know your style and all of that so many times without damaging your real hair but at the same time i just man i just don't like wearing them they're just too much for me my head can't take them like i've never been used to having to wear my hair like i'm so used to basically wearing my natural hair basically and because all my life like i never had braids as a kid this and that that's why now like i just don't see myself getting braids and shit now because i feel like i'm gonna take them out that like second week because like i know me like one time i had braids they didn't even last the full two weeks because why my hair was they were slipping off my hair and because my hair was fucking itching so i was like no i gotta take this out asap is it just me or like when y'all like done y'all foundation i go over your eyes too i don't know i just feel like it's necessary Ugh. The words came off of this, but I'm trying to remember what this is. This is the, oh yeah, this is the Maybelline concealer in the color 25 Medium Honey. Y'all, this has been lasting me like forever. Like, as you see, it's about to be done. And I'm trying not to talk too much because I'm trying to worry about getting ready more so. Because, like, you realize that you go faster when you're not on camera and talking. So, like, one time I did a get I wrote a call with me. I woke up early and I did get ready for me, and I didn't and I was recording, so I didn't really realize I was taking my precious time. So guess what? I ended up missing the bus and I had to Uber to school. I was mad because that's my money that I'm wasting. Like come on now. Ugh, I can never get into the creases in my nose. I know y'all probably like this boring bitch, but honestly, y'all, I'm just fucking tired. And I'm ready to get the day over with. And I gotta go to work after school at 4. And I don't be getting home till like 3. Because I get out at 2.25. And buses at my school don't pull off till like 2.45. And on top of that, I got a new bus driver this year. And she is never on fucking time. Well, him and her. Because I got a girl for my afternoon bus. And then I got a man on my morning bus. And the bus in the morning is supposed to come at, like, we're supposed to come around 7.07, 7.05. And that shit doesn't get there to, like, 7.20, which is good for me because I have extra time to get ready. But, like, at the same time, I don't have time to go to breakfast before school and shit like that. Like, ugh. Like, every, like, almost every morning... I used to go get some chick fil label for or Starbucks before school. Now, as soon as I get off the fucking bus, it's like five minutes before it's time to go to class. And I'm not trying to get no tardies or absences this year. I have to stay on track because I fucked up last year. So, therefore, I need, like, this year to be perfect. I don't need anything trying to come back on me and hold me back and all this All right, but I'm done highlight under my eyes because guess what? Me, I don't. Hi I used to highlight under my eyes, my chin, and my forehead. I don't. I don't highlight under my. Only I don't have. I can't fucking talk. I don't highlight on my um forehead and my um chin no more because I I feel like it makes me look. It makes me go like from like just regular tone to like pale. I don't like that. But I use this what? face powder as you all know. You've seen this. You can get it from anywhere. You can even get it from Dollar General. I seen it in there but surprisingly it costs more dollar general than walmart like walmart's like five something then like the dollar general that i seen it in was like six something i was like no but i don't i don't put a lot of this on i just give me a regular beauty blender and i roll it in <sighs> and blow because i don't need to set that much I 
And I don't, like me, I set my face. I don't bake my face. And that's because I just, I don't like the extra boldness under my eyes. I just like the regular, I don't like my eye, under eye to be too bold. Like, I like it to look natural. I don't care for the, like, you know, the, <clears throat> I don't know why I can't fucking talk. I don't know. I think it's because my mouth is dry, bro. But as I was trying to say, I don't like going for the bright little under eye how a lot of people do because I just feel like you look cakey when you do that. And I don't want to look cakey. What the fuck? And people be baking for like five to ten minutes, sometimes even fifteen. I watch this girl, she did fifteen. Put it on this side, then I put it on this side. When I'm done this side, then I go wipe it off this side. Then when I wipe it off this side, I wipe it off that eye. I, I don't bake. Not even like no. Maybe for like a good like thirty seconds, but anything more than that, no. Okay. And if you're wondering what I use for my eyebrows, I just use the NYX pencil. People, someone told me to do an eyebrow tutorial one time, but I'm like, my eyebrows ain't all that to be doing a no tutorial. But yeah, I just used the pencil and espresso. And what, what concealer do I use? Where is that at? Is this it? No, that's not the concealer. Um, I can't find the concealer, so. Yeah, I can't find a concealer, but just know that I use um LA Pro Girl. I've been using LA Pro Girls for like, I don't even really know how long, but it's been a while. Don't cover my bottle. I need to clean all my makeup. I use the Urban Decay Oil Control Setting. I use the Urban Decay Oil Controlling Setting Spray. And I realized much I changed my setting spray to this. My makeup has stayed on longer because my face gets really, really, really oily. And my makeup just basically just melts off my face by the end of the day. But this helps it stay on longer. So as you know, you're gonna sit back and spray. Face ass. And then after that, I wanna go in with my brush. Where, where is this brush from? Oh yeah, this is the Wet n Wild brush. I actually like this. And after, as soon as I put on my set, that's that. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry, I can't talk this morning. But as soon as I I get done spraying my face both of these are by wet and wild this highlighter is really good what highlighter is this this is in 32 this is in 32 1b precious petals this is the color let me open it up for y'all but yeah i like this see this is a natural little highlight it's not like bam i'm in your face but like it's like oh cutie hey i'm here and that's fine because i like that like i used to like going oc with the damn highlighter but i don't know as i got more to make up am i gonna highlight my forehead just a bit okay and then i'm gonna go in with their brush too i like their brushes y'all I'm gonna go under my. Uh, I'm gonna go up under my eyebrow. Y'all need to speed up because the light is coming out. We know what that means when the light is coming out. That it's almost time to leave out. Okay, now that I got that. And glue y'all put on some of the gloss, but I've already put it on because my lips is looking ashy. But you know, when I'm not on camera, I don't put it on because I like to wait. So I'm done with that. And then I'm just going to put on my lashes because, you know, what's the point of wearing a full face if you're not going to wear no lashes? These eyelashes that I'm about to put on, they ain't from nowhere special. They just from the beauty supply store. I want to buy some, like, good lashes, but bitches be trying to charge, like, $20 for a pair of lashes. Like, bitch, I'm not doing that. $20 for some lashes, bruh. Come on now. And they don't even be all that good. If I'm paying $20 for some lashes, one, they better they better last me. And on top of that, they better be fluffy 
and dramatic as hell. Because sometimes, like, I'll be on their websites and they be trying to sell some basic ass lashes you can, like, basic ass lashes that you can get from the beauty supply store for 20 something, some of some $19.99. Like, you got a deal, please. So let me hurry up and put this motherfucking. Y'all, I don't even know what I'm wearing, bruh. And the lash, I don't use lash glue for my eyelashes. I just use. My timer. timer went off, sorry. But yeah, I use track glue because why? When I try to use like regular eyelash glue, they never stay on no matter what I use. And like, because in this eye, not even this eye, but this eye, no matter what I do, any type of makeup I look, I do, it always waters. And it makes my eyelash come off. And I forgot to put on my mascara. Cause you know, my eyelashes probably look white as shit right now because as long as I've been using this shit, I've never looked at the name. I just looked at the like, the cover. And I'd be like, oh yeah, there's my shit I be getting. I can't talk for this one, y'all. I gotta talk. I can't talk for my lashes on. Y'all see, look, I was talking too fucking much. And then my lash don't want to go on. Great. And honestly, I can't even tell y'all what brand these lashes are from. Well, I can see the, well, I can't see the brand. Like, these lashes are from the beauty supply store because I've seen them in the beauty supply store and I've got them before. But actually, when I went to go take my senior pictures and she did my lashes, I saved these lashes because I like them. And I was like, free lashes? I'm not. And I was like, shit, I'm about to reuse these lashes. One, who's going to check me? Two. Oh, shit, I just plucked myself. Who has time to find different eyelashes? Not me. Like, these look fucking different, bruh. Like, they're the same, bruh. I don't know what the fuck it is. Okay, y'all, let's move on to my damn hair because I am running behind time. Ugh. First of all, let me tell y'all about this hair, y'all. When I first dyed this, this hair came to me at 613, but when I first dyed this hair, I was going for a red, and I followed this girl's YouTube tutorial, and I ended up getting like an orange, reddish hair. Basically, you ever went to Wendy's, the, the little girl of the little Wendy's, I look like her. I look like fucking Wendy's, bitch. So... I had to re-dye this hair and it gave me this i was trying to go for like a bright red but not literally bright like this but that's fine 637 okay i'm doing good i'm doing good i just need to be ready by six. let me tell you about this hair so hair spell sent me this hair and this is their 613 130 density and 18 inches and when you go to their website if you buy anything worth 50 or more and if you use my code ala123 you can get money off so go ahead and use my coupon code and do that. And yeah, girl, go get you some hair. Like, period. Who ha how many times have I been... How many times have I gotten 613? I think I've gotten 613 hair about three to four times. And honestly, out of all the 613 hair, I've gotten... This is my favorite one because let me tell y'all honestly why. But before I tell y'all, and let me tell y'all, I got these bomb ass flat irons from fucking Amazon for like $20, bruh. And it works so bomb. Because one time, my mom bought me a flat iron. And it was like $40, almost $50, I think. And it was like the professional kind. And let me tell y'all, it didn't even get my hair bone straight how this $20 flat iron from Amazon get it. Y'all need to go ahead and get it. I forgot the name, but just search up. 
flat irons and do the least do what I did. I searched up flat irons and I searched I did the little least, you know. I did lowest to highest with the whole little pricing. And I found these. I just look, just look for some purple flat irons around the $20 range. Yeah, because when I be getting 613 hairs, it's like, okay, the hair is not bad. Like, I'm not bashing any of these companies, like, you know, hair or anything. But, like, when I tell y'all, after you color the hair and stuff like that, and you go to straighten it, it doesn't really get bone straight. Like, this is body wave. This is not its natural form, but... I got the 613 hair and body wave and one time I got 613 hair straight and this hair gets straighter than the other wig and I just don't get it and like I've heard of hair spells but like I think I'm saying it right yeah I should be saying it right yeah but I'd never like ordered from them but I did hear about them and out of all the companies if I had to choose to work with someone again when it comes to 613 hair, I would choose them because this hair is like literally bomb. Like my other wig that I had, it's good. Like it's still good, but like after a while, it started to get like, not natty, but like it just wasn't like as soft. Like how you just look like this, run your fingers through. Like the other one wasn't like that. It was like rough like oh yeah mm, but it don't even matter it's cool though it's cool but yes and this hair didn't actually come with a smell at all but like i really love this fucking color on me like yesterday when i f i wore it yesterday to school and i got so many fucking compliments like i felt like that bitch like every time i turn my head Oh my god, I love your color. Oh my god, I love the color that you're wearing. And I'm just like, <laughs> I mean, thank you, sis. Oh thank you, girl. But am I alive? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, but this is my, f out of, I wouldn't say out of all my colors I did, this is my favorite. Out of all my colors, this is my second favorite color I did. Because as y'all know, my favorite color is still the blue wig. The blue wig is my iconic wig. And no wig, no color, whatever could never what vicky be saying a pussy ass hoe could never period but yeah i'm over here ranting about how good this wig is and i'm forgetting the fucking time baby god oh speed it up okay good enough bitch the light is literally starting to come out so oh that's hot Okay. So I'm about to go find what I'm going to wear to school. And I'll be back on the camera to show you guys what I'm going to wear. Tell me I don't look cute. But like. This hair is just so cute. And I'm just so cute in it. Period. Oh girl. I'm going to hit on some running my mouth i forgot to do i need to relay this edge down but yeah when i do my edges i don't use mousse because it just doesn't lay how i want it i just use eco styling gel like i used to like in the beginning i used to use um just got to be glue but that tends to get white very very fast so I don't use it no more. Okay, I'm running late on time. Let me go put on the outfit and I'll come back and I'll go talk to y'all. And first of all, don't judge my room. I know it's messy. I was rushing to get ready so I can do a video for y'all asses. But I have just my red and white vans on. I spilled cranberry juice. So right there in the front, they're kind of tinted. And I just have these. Well, this whole outfit is fashion over basically. Y'all look how skinny I am. But I have my vans on. I have my black ripped high-waisted jeans that I got from Fashion Nova. And I have this tube top little bodysuit from Fashion Nova 